In this tutorial, we show the basic use of WOW Frequency Equalizer. We're going to work on the same image we used in the previous tutorial, where the principle of frequency separation was explained. The first recommendation is that you always work on a duplicate layer. WOW changes the data in a layer destructively, so you may always want to keep the original image intact. So, duplicate the background layer by dragging it at the bottom of the layers panel onto the Create New Layer icon. You may rename the layer if you wish, although WOW will change its name anyway once you apply it. There are basically two ways you can go. The first, you start tweaking the sliders until you get a satisfactory result. The second, you start from one of the presets enclosed in WOW. The sliders correspond to five spatial frequency bands, as discussed in the previous tutorial. Left to right, the bands correspond to high frequencies, which become progressively lower. If you prefer, detail is on the left, shape is on the right. The intermediate bands work on intermediate scales. Each slider can be either boosted or cut. A boost corresponds to an enhancement of a given band. A cut corresponds to a reduction. Sliders can be combined, of course, in whatever ratio. The effect may not be easily predictable at times and it strongly depends on the image you are working on. Also, notice the sixth slider. You may think of it as the intensity of the overall effect, a bit like capacity. 100% is maximum and the default and 0 is minimum, corresponding to no effect. In general, when you choose a preset from the menu, the sliders will change their position and set themselves in a given configuration. You won't see any effect on the image, though. To apply the configuration, you need to click on the Run button. The On-Off switch allows you to check the effect against the original image, and the Reset button resets the slider configuration and the image as well, without the need to click on Run. You may prefer to have a live preview, without the need to click on Run every time you change a preset or update a slider. That's possible. Just click on the Preferences icon and make Live Preview active. Click on Save. This is desirable unless you have a sluggish computer. WOW makes very difficult computations and it may take a while if you work on large images. In that case, my suggestion is that you leave Live Preview off. You can switch from a preset to another without the need to reset anything. The new setting will overwrite the other. It is a good idea to use a preset as a starting point for your own elaboration. The names of the presets are rather clear. Let's see them one by one. This is WOW, this is Gentle, this is Skin, quite good for smoothing, this is Enhanced Black Control, this is Product, good starting point for still life, this is Boost. If you find something that you like, you may either change its intensity, in case it's a bit too intense, or move the sliders around to change the nature of the effect. On this subject, there is a very important thing you need to remember. Not only does WOW depend on the content of the image, but also on its size. In this case, we have the same image, but this one was downscaled to 50%. The reason why it looks as large as the other is that the zoom factor in Photoshop is actually double for the smaller version. A WOW preset behaves very differently on each image. Here is why it is difficult to predict exactly what the plugin will do. A suggested workflow is this. Open the image, duplicate the layer, 
apply a preset you think suitable, examine the results, accept or tweak according to your taste. As for tweaking, remember, the leftmost slider controls detail and looks a bit like sharpening when boosted, but it can cause small-scale smoothing when cut. The more you move towards the right, the more you apply something like hyralome sharpening, enhancement or taming of shape rather than detail. So, just experiment until you find what suits you. The combinations WOW can generate are limited, but they are so varied that the scope of the plugin is enormous. If you're interested in advanced techniques at this point, you may jump to the next tutorial.